Hello, this is Judd with Presenter Media. In this video, I'll take you on a little tour showing you how to navigate the website and touch on some of the features as well. To get started, let's first sign in by going to the top right hand corner and clicking sign in. Here you can log in with Google if you're using Google Chrome and you're signed into that. Or you can do it the old way where you enter, e enter your email and password here. And I'm just going to select from this drop down my browser gives me and select my email. Your browser may give you a drop down, but or may not. So you might just have to type in your email. Okay, so now I'm signed into Presenter Media. Here is the Presenter Media dashboard, and in the top part of that, you'll find your name, when your account expires. This will turn red when your account has expired, but we'll send you emails um, alerting that you're getting close to um, expiring and you need to renew. Here you can add your your own image or photo. Under here you can access your favorite favorite items so as you're looking through presenter media um, you can click on the star in the, the thumbnail previews to add them to your, your favorite area so you can access those later. Uh, right here is view custom items. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, you can earn free months by referring a friend that you think will like Presenter Media. And if they sign up uh, for a Presenter Media uh, paid account, you will they will leave it. You, they will get a discount, and you will get a free month as well. Up here, if you click on My Account, it'll take you to the page where you can renew. Uh, you can add additional seats if you have a team and you can change your photo from here, uh, your information, and your password. Okay, underneath that area you'll find featured content, and this will just update every once in a while as new seasons like summer, fall, winter come on, or when the school year also comes on. So you can see that there's some school graphics in here now because it's school time. So just keep an eye on that for uh, as we go through the year, different themes, different different events um, will will update the graphics for those. Um, let's see. You can also click this to check out uh, what's new. So it'll show you all what, for what's new. Announcements right here. You can can check out that area if we need to alert you of a new feature or just need to send you some information um, we'll put it in here so right now a uh, new powerpoint add-in has been um, released and we just put that in there to let everybody know and probably sent out an email to alert them as well uh, underneath that you got customizer apps and these apps you can uh, uh, make videos uh, for your presentations social media and then you have your media builder, which you can uh, customize graphics like animations and videos with your own text, images, and logo. And you can access the Word Cloud Creator app here as well. And there's some other places you can access this stuff as well. But uh, if I click on Media Builder and launch that, you'll see that I get a um, previews of different items I can customize. I can use a search to um, search for a term. Um, say if I type in business, it'd give me a lot of business looking graphics, videos, and animations. But I'm just going to use this magazine and click on that. And this loads that that item into the the graphics customizer. So you got your work area right here, and you got some other features over here, which uh, there's another video that goes into this deeper. But just to show you a quick example of what can be done with this. If I type in something like that, just hello, I can resize and um, that word just by using these little handlebars around the element. And I can right click on the background and change element. So if I want a different background, I can choose from my uploads. So I can upload my own picture or I can choose from photos. And let's say I want this mountain. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that loads in. You can see that it kind of changes the size of the background because it's a different size image. And I just drag these handles to resize it to fill that 
rectangle work area that you see there. <clears throat> and I can change the text color as well. Something like that. <laughs> that looks good. So once I'm done, I just uh, go over here, probably click the largest size, build and download. Okay, that looks good. Okay, you can see in the top right corner, that gear is rotating, that's telling you that there's something processing. So this, this design is now processing <clears throat> and it'll give me a, an alert up here, a little red dot when that's done. But for now, I can just go back to presenter media uh, dashboard and I'll touch on a few other things here. So underneath those um, customizer apps, I'll find helpful tips and tutorials for PowerPoint, for presenter media. So just check those out. Uh, underneath that, there's some sliders. So in this slider, you'll see new PowerPoint templates and those will pop up throughout the week as we add PowerPoint templates and also newest designs, animations and videos will pop up throughout the week as well as we we're adding new new content to our um yeah animations clip art and video library underneath that you'll find your favorite items and like i said before when you click on that little star they'll go and live in this area here and you can click view more to view all your your favorite items underneath that you'll find recent uh, recently customized items and you can see that 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 magazine I just customized is now done and in this area. And underneath that, you'll just see blog posts um, pop in here every once in a while. You can view our whole uh, presenter media blog by clicking on this link here. Underneath this, you'll just find the footer with uh, content um, links that you can get to, uh, company information, resources, and how to get in touch with us. Let's go all the way to the top of presenter media and oh you can look over here this this gear remember that gear rotating and it's now stopped but there's now a one and a red dot that tells you that there's one thing ready has been customized and is ready so uh, let's look at the the navigation bar right here so let's start with powerpoint templates click on that that'll take you to the powerpoint templates category you can also click on the subcategories if you want to go into a little more specific stuff. And um, once inside here, I can click on the pages to start looking through the templates. I can also go up to the search bar and go to filters, click on filters and select templates. I can click multiple things to search in, but let's just do templates for now and type in business. Okay. so gives me a, uh, a view of all our business templates to look through. And I'm just going to select this top one. And when it opens up the close-up page, uh, there's a, a present, presentation uh, previewer. So for this, this PowerPoint template, I can click through the slides that are in it to view them a little bit bigger. And the first slide is a video usually, so I can check out the animation inside this template. If I scroll down further, I'll find the template downloads. I can download them here or click this red button or not red, uh, green button here to download the PowerPoint PTX file. Um, I'm going to download that quick just for to use later. And let's move on now to PowerPoint animations. Again, I get subcategories I could click into. And if I click into PowerPoint animations, this will just bring up the library of PowerPoint animations and I can do the same thing, click through the pages or I can go up to the filter in the search bar and just click on animations and, and search for my my keyword that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to click on this man doing the floss dance here. And it gives you a animation previewer here. And over here you, you have just, it'll give you different variations. Uh, I can click through to change the colors of that that animation. And once I find the right one, that looks good. And there'll be another video that goes over how to modify colors for animations and clip art. It'll go into deeper detail, but for this getting started, we'll just choose this purple um, purple color. And looks like all these settings are down here that I want. <clears throat> that video will go over how to 
change those as well. I'll click Save and Download. And now I can download and save in my media. So I'll download to my computer and save in my media. Okay, I'll save that. And let's go check out my media and uploads right now. So up here in the top right hand corner, click on that. And this is where all your customized designs will go to live. So you can see that that uh, flossing animation, the guy flossing is now in here. And also that magazine that I customized is in here as well. And in here I can download that the, these items. I can click to save them for forever because if you don't save an item, it will be deleted after 90 days to save room on the server. But um, you can save as many many items as you want just by clicking uh, click to save. Now that item is saved forever. If you sign up for the free account, um, that option is not available. And just to note that anything that you customize will be deleted after 90 days. Um, but you can sign if you sign up for uh, a paid membership that is available to you and you can save your customized items forever. And there's also the redo function to redo an item and also the delete function if you want to delete something out. And there's a whole video that goes over uh, my media as well and uploads and shows you um, how to use this in more detail. So let's just let's just download these while we're in here because we'll use them a little bit later. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to um, so in PowerPoint animations, you get your drop down subcategories. You can click on custom text and they'll give you like all the the animations that you can change messages on and add your logo um, or images to. And just like we did with the the magazine. So inside presentation clip art, you also have um, a custom text drop down and you can see that um, I can click through here and view um, clip our items I can customize. I can go up to the search and also click in select clip art and search that way. And I can also click clip art plus custom and search and get um, get customized items inside clip art. So you can use filters that way by selecting multiple filters. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm just going to click into the top presentation clip art category and let's take a look at this guy right here. So um, each animation in clip art will have its own set of modification tool tools to change colors. So like with this clip art, you, um, you can change the colors of the skin to whatever you would like. Um, you can change the hair color and also the color of the, the items like the helmet and the transportation device. Okay, so say I like that, I can just download that. Save. And also, like animations and clip art, you can scroll down and there'll be a quick download. So you can, you can just download the original if you don't want to modify any colors down here. With, so you just select uh, the size you want and if you want a white background or clear background. And that's, that's in the animations as well. So this one, yep, you have your quick downloads right here. Uh, if I go to uh, video backgrounds, I can just open a video background here, I can download it, I can modify the colors of this uh, video background as well. And that'll go, that can be covered or will be covered in a different video if you, if you watch that. You can also find customized videos, so you can customize um, the text again and logo. And if I click, uh, if I go to custom graphics over here, uh, there's a custom video um, option. And if I go into there, I'll find a bunch of custom stuff that I can customize, custom videos, and make um, videos that are um, personalized however I want them to be. And you can also ac access the custom animations and clip art here. Uh, Word Cloud Generator, I'll click into that, and it brings you to the Word Cloud gener Generator page where you find pre-designed Word Clouds that I you can click into. Um, 
So if I select this one, I can download quick downloads if this looks good and I like all the words in here, or I can customize Word Cloud and change the words, add my own word list and, and create the, the Word Cloud from that. And again, there's a whole, whole another video for that, which will help you, or you can follow along to learn more about all these different features inside the Word Cloud Generator. Let's move on to background music. I click on that. You can preview all these uh, music tracks and you just download the one you want right next to it. Pretty easy. Load it into PowerPoint or any any um, software that you're using to that, that you could use an MP3 file. Uh, slide clips video maker. I click into that and these are video editable video templates. So um, if I click on um, so you got widescreen, uh, social media formats, if you want to post to social media, a video. So if I click into multiple slide video template, it opens up the video creator, which kind of looks like PowerPoint. You have your slides over here on the left and you have your work area. And you can change the text and uh, images. If there's images inside the video, you will you can change those out as well to whatever images you want. And you can... Um, change text over here in the quick text edit area and there's a whole bunch of other features so there's a whole video for this as well to get you familiar with the the video um, maker application so i'm just going to go back to the home page dashboard and i think that's about all i'm going to cover in this uh, video tutorial because we're running about 16 minutes and if you stuck along with me, I thank you. But I'm going to go even further. You can be done now, or um, you can kind of watch me as I load these um, these graphics into into PowerPoint. So, um, so if you if you're tuning out now, thanks for watching. And here we go into PowerPoint. It looks like I have some stuff left over from some practice runs for this tutorial. I'll just undo those and if I go to insert go to picture from this device um, I can add <clears throat> that that guy flossing and PowerPoint will give you some designer options over here if if you want to use those say I got my logo and then I wanted a guy celebrating and dancing next to my logo I could have that and Let's uh, let's duplicate that slide. Whoops. Duplicate slide, and I'm gonna delete that out. And insert picture. I'm gonna insert that um, that magazine I customized. So um, if I wanted to do something like that, I can click down here to see more uh, design ideas if I want. Yeah, I don't know if there's any that I really want to use. So I can just kind of position that up here and say I want to make this nice and big. And I want I could put some text right here, kind of talking about whatever yeah your presentation's about. And um, you got a nice standout slide with your own customized design, unique to you. There's there'll be no other graphic out there like this because you added your own image and your own text and everything to it to make it uniquely yours yeah i think that's all i'm going to do on powerpoint um if you view some of the other tutorials video tutorials um how to modify animations or or, or videos and stuff like that i'll go in and i'll show you how to add uh, that stuff to powerpoint as well so thanks for for watching and following along to the end so congratulations we made it about 20 minutes long. Wow. Um, I need a drink of water and you probably need to break from hearing my voice. So thanks again for watching this. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.